हाय एवरीवन दिस इज कुंदन पटेल फ्रॉम द ब्लू मार्बल स्पेस इंस्टीट्यूट वाई एस पी सो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू समराइज माय वाई एस पी प्रोजेक्ट इन दिस वीडियो प्रेजेंटेशन थैंक्स फॉर गिविंग मी दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी सो आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द रोल ऑफ अल्फा हाइड्रोक्सी एसिड इन एक्सप्लोरिंग द ऑरिजिन्स ऑफ द अर्थ सो इफ वी टॉक अबाउट वाट आर अल्फा हाइड्रोक्सी एसिड बेसिकली अल्फा हाइड्रोक्सी एसिड आर ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड्स फाउंड इन वेरियस नेचुरल रिसोर्सेज एंड दे हैव गेन्ड सिग्निफिकेंट अटेंसन इन रिसेंट ईयर्स ड्यू टू देयर पोटेंशियल रोल इन फॉर्मिंग द अर्थ एंड इन दिस प्रेजेंटेशन वी एम टू एक्सप्लोर द रोल ऑफ अल्फा हाइड्रोक्सी एसिड and the chemical process associated with them which can shape our planet mm, early earth condition were harsh and volatile due to volcanic activity lack of oxygen but alpha hydroxy acid could have played a crucial role in the formation of prebiotic molecules and stabilization of primordial environments understanding the interaction between alpha hydroxy acid and early earth environment can provide insights into the emergence of life so if we talk about the presence of alpha hydroxy acid on early earth so there are evidence and uh, different various scientific groups have uh, looked into those things so alpha hydroxy acid are found to be in the samples of meteors and they also evolved in hydrothermal vents with the spark discharge chemistry of co2 and h2o with photochemistry of ultraviolet radiation which are discussed and are looked by various scientific groups alpha hydroxy acid are also proven as a potential monomer for biological assemblies as we can see the key step in the evolution of life on earth is thought to be when abiotically produced organic compounds underwent environmentally driven process that produced more and more complex compounds one such process is polymerization in which molecule monomer molecules are connected together in chains or networks recently polyester micro droplets are generated from dehydration synthesis from various alpha hydroxy acid they were also suggested as potential primitive compartment suggesting that minor modification of polyester composition can significantly impact the functional properties of primitive compartment studies suggests that one process by which chemical systems can increase diversity of compartment phenotype through simple modification in their chemical composition nucleic acid segregation and compartmentalization were likely essential functions that primitive compartment system resolved during evolution and these can we very well studied with the monomers of alpha hydroxy acid that are polyesters and if we if these droplets are segregated then they can compartmentalize and present the diversity in the compartmentalization also one of the potential candidate which can be think of as proto rna candidate are depsipeptides and their self assembly so the monomers of depsipeptide nucleic acid can form under plausibly prebiotic condition with the alpha hydroxy acid and amino nucleic acid so this is amide ester linkage these monomer oligomerize spontaneous spontaneously when dried from aqueous solution to form nucleo based functionalized depsipeptides once formed these depsipeptide nucleic acids oligomer are capable of complementary self assembly and are resistance to hydrolysis in the assembly state these results suggest that the initial formation of primitive self assembling informational polymers on the early earth may have been relatively facile 
if the constraints of the RNA first scenario are relaxed. They have created a pair of RNA-like molecules that can spontaneously assemble into gene-length chains in water. Although it's likely to be difficult to determine whether these proto-RNAs or others like them were present at the dawn of life, the researchers are now working to see if the proto-RNAs can indeed faithfully encode information and evolve toward RNA. So if I conclude this work focuses investigation on polyester depsipeptide formation from monomeric alpha hydroxy mixtures and the reaction condition which are suitable for the synthesis of alpha hydroxy acid which may be a critical step for the origin of life. Thanks.